Welcome to Exam University, our dedicated YouTube learning course. We're thrilled to have you join us on this educational adventure. Your presence adds value to our community, and we're excited to explore and learn together. Let's make Exam University a place for shared insights, discovery, and growth. Thank you for being part of our learning community. It's more than just a pathway, it's your ticket to a free and comprehensive learning journey, greatly increasing your chances of securing AWS certification. Dive into a world of knowledge tailored to not only equip you with the essentials but also elevate your expertise. This is your opportunity to skill up and enhance your professional profile with the power of AWS certification. Our learning content is always in sync with the most current official exam guide. Staying up to date is crucial in the ever-changing world of certifications, and we make sure you're equipped with the latest information. When you choose our platform, you're choosing a learning experience that evolves alongside industry standards. Your journey to certification success starts with content that's not just relevant but also aligned with the most recent exam guidelines. In our learning journey, we prioritize clarity by cutting through clutter with storytelling, ensuring your comprehensive understanding and exam readiness, consistent with the principles of exam university reflected in our logo. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like, and share your comments to help enhance our channel. Let's get started. AWS certification validates your technical skills and cloud expertise. It categorized into four groups. Let's begin with AWS foundational certifications. It offers a knowledge-based certification for foundational understanding of AWS cloud. What's great is that no prior experience is required. Next, AWS Associate Certifications. It's designed to showcase your in-depth knowledge and skills on AWS and build your credibility as an AWS cloud professional. While no prior experience is mandatory, having some cloud and on-premises IT experience is recommended. Aspire for the highest level of expertise? AWS professional certifications are role-based, certifying advanced skills and knowledge required to design secure, optimized, and modernized applications and automating processes on AWS. We recommend having at least two years of prior AWS cloud experience to excel. For those who want to specialize and become a trusted advisor, AWS offers specialty certifications. These will position you as an expert in strategic areas, providing valuable guidance to your stakeholders and customers. By now, you probably have question, where do I start? Which AWS certification should I start with? If you are new to information technology, from a non-IT background or switching to a cloud career, start with AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. This will position you for entry-level cloud jobs and to earn additional certifications. If you are currently in sales marketing or other business roles, start with AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. This will allow you to have better communication and collaboration on cloud with stakeholders and customers. Lastly, if you are IT professionals and have one to three years of IT or STEM background, start with an associate level AWS certification that aligns with your role or interests. This will validate of AWS cloud knowledge and skills, confidence and credibility to build your cloud career. We recommend you to follow the AWS certification paths that align with job roles and responsibilities. For example, if you are gearing toward solution architect role, AWS recommends you to start with AWS Cloud Practitioner, followed by AWS Solutions Architect Associate, AWS Solutions Architect Professional and you can dive deep by taking AWS Security Specialty. For application architect role, start with AWS Cloud Practitioner, then AWS Solutions Architect Associate, followed by AWS Developer Associate and AWS DevOps Engineer Professional. You can also go deep by taking AWS Solutions Architect Professional. Here are the AWS certification paths for Cloud Data Engineer and Software Development Engineer roles. Feel free to pause the video if you require additional time to review the details. Here are the AWS certification paths for system administrator and cloud engineer roles. Feel free to pause the video if you require additional time to review the details. 
Here are the AWS certification paths for test engineer, cloud DevOps engineer and DevSecOps engineer roles. Feel free to pause the video if you require additional time to review the details. Security is also another hot role, and if you are pursuing security-related roles, please follow the recommended certification path for cloud security engineer role and cloud security architect role. Lastly, if you are looking for networking in artificial intelligence, machine learning, please follow the recommended certification path for network engineer role and machine learning engineer role. The AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner, or CLFC02, is intended for individuals who can effectively demonstrate overall knowledge of the AWS cloud, independent of a specific job role. The CLFC02 exam assesses your ability to perform several crucial tasks, including 1. Explain the value of the AWS cloud. 2. Understand and explain the AWS shared responsibility model. 3. Comprehend security best practices. 4. Grasp AWS cloud costs, economics, and billing practices. 5. Describe and position the core AWS services, such as compute, network, database, and storage services. 6. Identify AWS services for common use cases. Now, there are a couple of important notes to keep in mind. 1. The AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner Certification has been recently updated to keep pace with changes in industry trends, the tech landscape, and the evolving practices of cloud professionals. 2. Up until September 18, 2023, the certification was known as CLFC01. Starting from September 19, 2023, the updated AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam is referred to as CLFC02. 3. Our learning content is meticulously aligned with the latest and updated CLFC 02 exam guide, ensuring you have access to the most current information and materials for your success. The target candidate for the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner has up to six months of experience in AWS cloud design, implementation, or operations. It may come from non-IT backgrounds. The target candidate should have knowledge in the following areas. AWS Cloud Concepts Security and Compliance in the AWS Cloud Core AWS Services Economics of the AWS Cloud AWS is not expecting the target candidate to perform these tasks, such as Coding Cloud Architecture Design Troubleshooting Implementation Load and Performance Testing the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam comprises two types of response questions, multiple choice and multiple response. Let's break down what this means. Multiple choice question has one correct response and three incorrect responses or distractors. Multiple response question has two or more correct responses out of five or more response options. Some important notes. Select one or more responses that best complete the statement or answer the question. Distractors or incorrect answers are response options that a candidate with incomplete knowledge or skill might choose. Distractors are generally plausible responses that match the content area. Unanswered questions are scored as incorrect, there is no penalty for guessing. The exam includes 50 questions that will affect your score. Unscored content, the exam includes 15 unscored questions that do not affect your score. AWS collects information about candidate performance on these unscored questions to evaluate these questions for future use as scored questions. These unscored questions are not identified on the exam. The AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam is a pass or fail exam. The exam is scored against the minimum standard established by AWS professionals who follow certification industry best practices and guidelines. Exam results are reported as a scaled score from 100 to 1000. The minimum passing score is 700. Your score shows how you performed on the exam as a whole and whether you passed. Scaled scoring models help equate scores across multiple exam forms that might have slightly different difficulty levels. Your score report could contain a table of classifications of your performance at each section level. This information is intended to provide general feedback about your exam performance. The exam uses a compensatory scoring model, 
which means that you do not need to achieve a passing score in each section. You need to pass only the overall exam. Each section of the exam has a specific weighting, so some sections have more questions than other sections have. The table contains general information that highlights your strengths and weaknesses. Use caution when interpreting section level feedback. You can expect four test domains with different weightings in the exam. This is based on the latest CLFC 02 exam outline, as of September 19, 2023, replacing the previous CLFC 01 outline. AWS certification exams are globally available through Pearson View. We encourage you to identify the most convenient testing option for you based on where you would like to take your exams and any specific accommodations you may need. There are two testing options that you can choose. First option, online proctoring. Online proctoring is a testing environment that allows you to take an exam from any private space, such as your home or office. You use your own computer for the exam and converse with a proctor who remotely monitors your exam via both a screen sharing application and your webcam. Most exam appointments are available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. We recommend scheduling your exam in advance so you're more likely to find a time that's convenient for you. Second option, testing centers. Testing centers are facilities operated independently from AWS that offer in-person proctoring as well as the technical equipment required for an exam, such as a computer that meets system and security requirements. You will use the testing center computer to take your exam, and on-site staff will assist you with checking in and storing your belongings. Appointment availability varies by testing center. Once you have choose your testing options, you can schedule your exam with Pearson View from your AWS certification account. After scheduling your exam appointment, carefully review your exam confirmation email which contains pertinent details on the relevant policies and terms for your exam appointment. We offer a complete free course that aligned with the latest and updated exam outline CLFC 02. Our learning course is structured around four key domains, and each domain is further divided into multiple modules. There are a total of 19 modules, where each module aligned with the CLFC 02 exam outline. Congratulations! You have completed Introduction to AWS Cloud Practitioner.